this is Shelly from City Homestead. If you've been around, you kind of recognize the spot where I'm at. This is where my peach tree was. And unfortunately, with the couple of freezes, it did not make it. Um, luckily, I was watching one of my channels, and they were talking about how their tree supplier has a year warranty on their products. And so I called my supplier, which was fastgrowingtrees.com, and was asking them if there was anything that we can do. Now, I bought the tree a year ago. I did not buy a warranty on it. It came with a 30-day warranty. Uh, but the guy I spoke to was awesome. His name was Lewis. And uh, we discussed what happened and what my options were. Um, possibly putting credit towards a new tree or whatever. Um, last year, whenever I bought the tree, it was $70. And as of right now, it's appreciated up to $110. So he said that if I bought the warranty, that we would see what we can do. So anyway, I did go ahead and I buy the, bought the warranty. It was $11.87 for the order, covered the whole order. And they were, they did not have the size tree that I purchased last year. So he went ahead and looked and they were able to get me a bigger tree. This tree goes for $140 and it's supposed to produce fruit in one to two years versus two to three years like the other one. So I was very happy with their customer service. I'm very happy with the outcome solution. So happy in fact that I did place actually place another order for the two blueberry bushes and the strawberry plants. So um, absolutely excellent customer service. I would recommend them. Now, if only my peach tree will survive. So, we did do things a little bit different this time. Um, I went ahead and I had some topsoil that was more of a sand consistency. So, whenever I dug the hole, I did mix that in. As well as got the, the I guess, uh, I don't know, it's a twisty thing. And loosened up the dirt down there and, and mixed it up with the sand. So that way it maybe it shouldn't compact so much and that allowed the roots to grow. As well as I put a cardboard down underneath the, the compost and I put compost, which I did not do either of those last year. I did do the dirt last year, but I did not do this. So, and then of course it says to water it in real good for the first day or two, but then not to water it to let the roots grow down. So I'll be, you'll, you'll see this again next month in May when we get to our, our, our May uh, garden update, but as of right now, we do still have a, a peach tree.